like as a kid, the color, always loved it. So that was like a big thing for me. And then I just loved like the fit and the shape and just everything, the neckline. It was just, I thought it just was beautiful. Especially kind of going into elementary school, like it's always kind of been sitting in the back of the closet. So when my mom first showed it to me, it's, it's always been so special and I always thought it was just beautiful. And I mean, obviously when you graduate elementary school, it's not quite the right gown for it, but it's kind of been sitting in the back of my mind throughout high school. Like, I think this would be the perfect dress. It just, there's so much sentiment with it. It was really special. She knew I had plans, but she never actually knew that I would. I don't know if it, she thought I actually would do it or not, because she knew I was quite a bit taller, so I don't know if she would have thought it would happen. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. Well, we got a phone call from a young lady who said she had her grandmother's um, dress that she wanted to refit and revamp to wear for graduation. And it's something we kind of do a lot of, a lot of redos, redesigns, and refitting. So we had her bring it in, and she brought in this beautiful, beautiful 1960s-style brocade, late 50s, early 60s. And it's in a beautiful seafoam green. So the minute we saw it, we're like, I don't know how we're going to do it, but let's do it. And then we added a little fish, head, fish, line, fish lining into the hem. So that adds a nice little lattice yeah. hem to it, a little curl and some flounce to it when you're walking. So I'm about 5'11", 6 foot with heels especially, um, and my grandma only went up to about my shoulder height, so it was a big jump, I think, but we had to make sure it fit because we had to add on the bottom while kind of lengthening the top a bit as well. I think the biggest challenges that we had facing in this dress is the fact that uh, we had to find fabric that would match the same chiffon and the hem. And the other fabric is, the other problem we had was just the fitting of it. It was a very small dress made more for a petite woman, whereas Lauren's a bit taller and more athletic built. So we had to let it out as much as we can and then go back and refit into the waist and then discovered that we had to add more fabric into the hips. Excellent. This looks fantastic. As a designer, for me to have something like this and to come out so well is, is fantastic because it just shows that we can do anything. And there's been a lot of times people like, oh, you can't do anything. And when you get something like this, you show them you can because it comes out so beautiful in the end. So, and the beauty of it is we kept the same label that was in it. Some lady here in Regina was called Elizabeth Ann Gowns. And so we kept the same label and we put one of my labels in it. I think it was really important to just reuse this dress and stuff like in this year especially with COVID we weren't sure if we were going to have a prom originally so knowing that I could like do this and keep the dress and if I have a daughter or anything keep it in the family for kind of as long as I can it's kind of really special just to hold that sentiment with it. <laughs>